Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lolly and today I have this shipment that came today. I'm really excited about this. These are the Nuvo alcohol markers. Now I love that they are in these individual cases because it would be great for travel. They have little handles on the top. Very cute. And I had, there are three sets. Okay, if we turn them over and look at the bottom, we have the Midtone Collection 24 pack. I love, you can see in the bottom, you can see the colors. And then this one is the Bright and Dark Collection. And this one is the Essential Collection. So these are all of the alcohol markers, these three sets right here. Really beautiful cases. And if you already have the old Nuvo markers, which I'm showing you a picture right here, you can see the barrel shape has changed considerably. And the reason I bought these was that they redesigned the shape. I don't, I'm not a fan of barrels that are shaped conically like that because they really are hard to hold as your hand wants to slide down toward the narrowest point of the pen. And so when the, with these shaped this way, they are much easier to hold on to. So you can order these as a set of all of them like this at a discount, or you can order one set at a time, or you can get them in, in sets of 12 and buy them that way. So this is the same as two of the 12 sets. This is the same as two of the 12 sets, and this is the same as two of the 12 sets. So don't think that if you buy all these and then buy sets of 12, you're getting more. You're just getting uh, doubles or duplicates of what you already have. So make sure it, uh, if you order a 24 and you want to order a 12, look at the colors that are listed at that 12 and make sure they're not ones that you already have in your set. I also have printed out on their website this marker pens chart. And I, I did this on the marker paper, although I'm not going to be doing any blending, but I will fill that out but I want to show you right now the markers and compare them to Copic. Now I don't have all the Copics and I don't need all the Copics. So I will show you a photo of the Copics that I do have and they are plenty for me. I've been able to use this color set without ever feeling like I'm missing something. But I wanted to compare uh, the difference between these and the Copics. I'm just going to grab basically a similar color range here. So here's the Copic on the right and the Nuvo on the left. You can see very slight height difference on the left for the Nuvo. It's a white barrel instead of this gray. It also has uh, the brush tip and the bullet tip here. It also has the bullet tip here and the chisel tip here. And the side that has the bullet tip does have a little gray line there. So you automatically can see, even if it's upside down, even if it's this way, you can see which one has the bullet tip on it. Also, when you pull it off, you can stack the lid right there as you're coloring. Whereas with the, it doesn't work with the Copic. And you can see I need to, uh, I need to clean mine, my barrel right there. So the colors are listed right here on a sticker, a color sticker and the number. They're listed there, so 425 Skylight Blue, and it's listed here as well. So it's in three places on there. It has a, um, the, the lid has little like thumb notches to make it easier for you to pull that off. These are not refillable at the moment, and they're also not open stock at the moment, but I have heard through the grapevine that eventually they will be open stock, so I'm not sure. Right now, um, on their website, they have them as sets of 12 and as sets of 24, and you can get all of them if you want. So this is a little swatch card right here the Essential 24 pack, the Midtone, and the Bright and Dark. So you can swatch it on here, which is very convenient, or you can swatch it on here and get all the colors in there. And then another thing that's really pretty about this, I love that you can just set these on your desk and see what they look like right here. But Or you can have them on your shelf, and they could be this way on your shelf. I'm not sure if they would stack. No, they don't really stack this way well 
because of the lid. You can get it to work, but it, you know, it works, but it's not as, I think it's really pretty having them set side by side like this. I think the beauty of this is that it's, you can carry it with you. And I think you have a bigger swatch area, which would help. And I think I might want to go ahead and swatch these out now so that as I'm um, moving the markers around and for instance, if I want three pinks and I take one out of each container, I can remember always which collection they came out of. So this one here I have is the, the essential collection. So that is the first two boxes here. And you will see there's one more spot here, and that's for the clear blender. So this is all of one set, and I don't know if you can see this. There is a gridded spot down the bottom of this that the markers slide right down into the grooves. Okay, let's put all these back off camera. So those are back in there. Let's move on to the mid-tone collection. First opened that one, I got a little spray of the ink right there and that a splatter. That's because that happens to me when I open containers. I'm at high altitude and so anything that is packaged at lower altitude has a lot of pressure built in it. So when I open it at high altitude, I usually get a little explosion. So now I'm pulling them off camera to open them so that it won't splatter my paper. And there we go. So we have all, those are really bright and I'm sorry for the glare. So beautiful. So the Essential Collection does have a lot of pastels in it. Also has the black and it has the clear blender, which are really important to have. Okay, back in the case these go. I'm gonna stamp out an image and we will color and test these out. Another really handy item is this color chart. This comes blank. It's just black and white outline. It's a download on Tonic Studios website. It's got all the numbers of every marker, what color category it's in, and so if you have them, you can color in your wheel. And the beauty of that is you can then look and see which colors you think will work together to create a project. So I have stamped out this balloon, and it is from one of the other stamp club sets. This one was the Turtley Awesome stamp set. And I used the Tonic Studios black ink to stamp that out. And so by looking at the color chart, I can see that these three colors will look really good together. And they are one from each of the three marker sets that I have. And so you will notice, let's zoom in here. They're in a row. I like a light, a medium, and a dark color. And you'll notice the numbers. So 359, Pillow Mint, 363, Natural Patina, and 366, Spectra Green. I'm going to go ahead and uncap all these, and I'm uncapping them so that the bullet tip is what is showing. I love that these caps snap onto the back. That makes life so much easier. Okay, so I have, and then when I look down, I can see very easily I've got my dark, my medium, and my light. I don't always do this exactly the same way. 
sometimes I take the light and I fill in an object I want to color. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the entire balloon and not even leave a spot for light. You know how usually you have like a, a little area on the balloon that's got a little bit of a light reflection on it? We're just going to color this in first. I'm going to take the dark one and kind of go around the end and really accent that. And a little bit up that way. Then I'm going to go in with the medium and pull that color into the balloon. And it doesn't take just one swipe, it takes several. Don't be afraid to work it and make sure your paper is good paper for working on marker with markers. I call it marker paper. You know, there are different brands that actually allow you to blend markers on and this is just one of them. And I have so many that I can't frankly remember which one this is. And so I'm still pulling that dark color in there. Then I'm going to take the light again and pull that color into the balloon. So I'm just basically pushing the color with my marker. I see I can leave a spot here. It's not white but it's um, it's just the color of the lightest green. And I will tell you, for those of you who are afraid to color, that I have very shaky hands and I go outside the lines a lot and it can't be helped with me, I know it. So I just quit worrying about it. And so what I do is this set has a die set with it Okay, so all I did was just blend that out and just kept playing with it until I was happy with it. So I'm going to switch and do another color. And I have this set of yellows here. So I have 403, 405, and 404. This actually does go here. But let's see if these ones actually look as good as they do on the color chart here. This is my dark one. So I'm going to uncap these. And you really could use the broad side to, to cover a large area if you are so inclined. So let's get this colored in. This one is pretty dark. So I'm, this is my light yellow and I'm thinking it's going to be a little darker than what I had hoped. And just so you know, you don't have to stick with all yellows, for instance, I could use orange for my dark color and then pull that all in with my mediums. Yeah, this color here is, is actually darker. That's what I thought. This color here, 404, is darker than the 405. So I'm going to go back over with the this one that I thought was my darker shade and just bring that in. And then my lightest one is going to be used to really blend all that in. I'm going to again save a little segment here for a light source. This one actually blended out a lot better than I thought it would. So with coloring, you always want to pretend that there is a light source. Think of a lamp or the sun. And so I have light coming from this way or kind of down and I have a little bit area there that's really light, like it's got a reflection on it. And the shadows are on this side. So I want to do dark to light. Okay, let's do one more. 374 Tiger Lily, 375 Plum Tomato and 381 Black Cherry. Hoping that one is not going to be too dark. I might switch to 79. I think this one is going to be too dark. So let's switch to this one, which is the Strawberry Jam. And let's color this one in. Let's start with uncapping them all. Okay, my light one in this, in this case is the 374.
if you really, I could just color back and forth, but if I'm really wanting to get a color blended in, like right now, a harsh line, I'm basically like flicking. I'm putting it down and then I'm lifting it up as I go to the right here. These are blending well, and frankly, I have never um, used alcohol markers that didn't have the brush tip. And so to me, I thought that was going to be a concern of mine. I thought it was going to be a lot harder to color with these than it is. And it's really not, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I think that the brush tips may be harder to manufacture. I'm not sure, but it really blends well. And I, I my fears were unfounded. So there's the balloons. Now I have dies, and I can cut those out. And then because I have colored in this chart of what goes in each kit, I know what goes in each one of my little bins here. And as I've been putting them in, I have been putting them in number side up, numbers facing me and bullet side down so that when I pick them up, I know that the bullet tip is down. So let me get those back in there. Okay, so here they are in their glory. Let me zoom back out here. There are my sets right there. I am really happy with these. I didn't know what to expect, but I will tell you that the price of these, the quality of these, it's well worth it. If you, one of the things I have noticed about people who want to get into alcohol markers, the cost is prohibitive. And in order to get started, you have to have colors that blend together in a certain category. For instance, you can't get that marker, this marker, and that marker and think you're going to color anything. You have to have three at least two, but three hopefully that you can blend together to make one image. And um, and so not knowing where to go or how to start, people will go and they will buy all of it. They'll buy everything like this in Copic markers. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is you buy it all, you try to color one time and say, oh, this is so hard, it's not for me, and you quit. And that is really... Um, <laughs> it's not a good approach because you need to really work at it and be patient with yourself. It's not like typical coloring with a colored pencil or a crayon or anything else. These are blendable. Um, and so to make that initial investment to buy a whole bunch of Copics and say it's not for me. I have I've looked on eBay and I have seen entire Copic collections on sale uh, really cheap saying I only use two markers. And that just shows you they, they tried, they failed. This is a really easy investment, you know, whether you start with one or two or all three of them together, it's an easy investment. And like I said, I hope, and I I did hear that they may come out with um, the open stock. I really hope they do. Because for instance, if I use up all of this color because it might be my favorite color, I wouldn't want to have to buy a set of 12 just to get that one marker. So it's just a thought. And especially to get a colorless blender in a black, as we imagine we would use a lot of those. Love the cases. These are really well thought out. Love the little handle on them. And I think that these would be really easy to grab and go and toss in a tote. And they will look really cute on my shelf like that. I think they're adorable. So you can put them on your shelf this way and you can open the lid and see what's inside and pull them out very easily. Very nice cases. Very well done, Tonic. I'm pleased with my purchase and I think you will be too.